Good day, dear students. How are you? Fine. Good. Who is absent today? Uh, all present. All present, yes. If all are present, let's start our lesson. What did you learn the last lecture? Yes, and uh, now I will ask um, uh, new words from last lecture. What is возобновляемый um, English for? Yes. What is неисчерпаемый uh, English for? What is исчерпаемый English for? Uh, yes. What is свинец um, English for? Yes. What is the med, med? Копа. Копа. Yes. What is природные ресурсы? Yes. What is um, горох? Yes. What is рациональное использование? Yes. What is биотические ресурсы? А биотические ресурсы? Biotical. Biotical resources. What is млекопитающие? Yes. What is креветка? Yes. And now I will ask um, questions from last lecture and I will ask and we will answer by hanging your hands. Okay? Uh, what, uh, give me the definition of, of the word natural resources. Baljan. Natural resource is collection of Yes. Object of nature, which uh, are used uh, by people for their, uh, their extents. Mm -hmm. um, what mean inexhaustible natural resources? Go ahead. Uh, inexhaustible resources is the uh, natural resources uh, that will never run out. Yes. Make examples for um, biotical uh, resources and abiotical natural resources. Diana. Uh, biotic birds, trees, uh, rice, and fish. Uh, ab 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 abiotic and coal. Abiotic. Abiotic coal, wheat, uh, wind, uh, sun. Mm -hmm. What are renewable and non-renewable natural resources? Renewable natural resources are constantly recycling nature, such as water, land, sun, and tidal sea. Uh, non-renewable resources are resources that can't be replaced. Uh, coal, oil, food. Yes. Uh, how do you understand the term renewable, um, relatively natural resources? Uh, uh huh. Uh, the relatively renewable natural resources is the resources that we can use after a period of time. Uh huh. For example, it's forest, soil, water. Uh huh. Thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, answers. Uh, you understood the last lecture very well. And uh, later we will play a game according to the uh, this subject. Okay. And now you start new lecture. Mm, protection and rational use of water resources. The protection surface and and groundwater. First of all, uh, I will give you a new vocabulary. Yes, as usually. You must learn this vocabulary. Let's repeat after me. Поверхность воды – surface water. Surface water. Грунтовые воды – ground water. Ground water. Очистка – purification. Purification. Возобновляемый – renewable. Renewable. Пресноводный – fresh water. Fresh water. Потребление – consumption. Consumption. Коммунальное снабжение – municipal supply. Municipal supply. Несуществующий, non-existent. Uh, non, uh, non non Замороженная вода, frozen water. Frozen water. Поток флюа. Вследствие этого, uh, consequently. consequently. Yes. Нечистоты, switch. Yes. Switch. Дефицит воды, water uh, shortage. 
Осторожно, careful. careful. Удобрение fertilizer. fertilizer. Мусорный ящик dustbin. dustbin. Консервация conservation. conservation. Человечество mankind. mankind. Рассудительный judicious. Judicious. Дождевая вода rainwater. rainwater. Um, перезарядка recharging. Recharging. Бесхозяйственность mismanagement. mismanagement. Отделяющий separa separating. separating. Um, нежелательный undesirable. undesirable. Примеси impurities. impurities. Профилактика prevention. prevention. Посвятить devoted. devoted. Бросать through. through. Испарение и evaporation. Окей, okay, thank you. Now we start. Lesson proposed to account students about water purification and methods of water purification. What is the water? Water is an essential natural resource uh, for sustaining life. Yes, for our life. Water covers over 17% of the Earth's surface and is a very important uh, resource for our life, for life of our people. Yes, water is a renewable and limiting resource. You know, yes? Uh, about three-fourths of Earth's surface is occupied by oceans. About 97% uh, uh, of the Earth's water is strong saline. Pure usable water on land is only 0.3%. Yes, it's very not more. Uh, water resources are sources of water that are useful or potentially useful to uh, mankind or to humans. Virtually all of these human uses require fresh water. Yes, all of you humans uh, need fresh water, only fresh water, yes? Uh, about 17% uh, of the total consumption is used in agriculture. Uh, about 1.1% is used for domestic and municipal supplies. Uh, without water, the life on the earth will be non-existent. Yes, you know. The water we use is taken from lakes and rivers and from underground, and after we have used it and contaminated it, most of it returns of these locations. Types of water resources: uh, surface water, uh, uh, ground water, uh, and the river flow, and frozen water. What is the frozen water? Yes, ледники, да? Use of water include agriculture. Yes, you know, yeah, agriculture, grow plants, uh, household, uh, industrial, uh, recreation, and environmental activities. Yes. Uh, what is the water pollution? Water pollution is any chemical, physical or biological change in the quality of water that has a harmful effect on any living thing that drink or uses or live in it. Yes? Water pollution affects uh, drinking water, rivers, lakes and oceans all of the world. Yes? All of the world. This consequently harms human health and the natural environment. Water pollution types. Surface water pollution found on the exterior of the earth, um, crust, ocean, rivers and lakes. Uh, groundwater pollution found in soil or under rock structure or aquifers. What is a water structure? A rock structure? It's yes, yes. Microbiological pollution is microorganisms that live on in water and fissures that can cause illness to land, animals and humans. And next, oxygen depletion pollution, microorganisms that in water and feed on biodegradable substances. Okay. What causes water pollution? Uh, what causes? It's oil pollution, industrial pollution. Yes. Yes. yes, household, yes, yes. household. Yes. Uh, sewage and wastewater, industrial waste, oil po pollution, atmospheric deposition, marine dumping, radioactive waste, underground storage leakage, 
global women and eutrophication. What, what is eutrophication? Eutrophication, yes. Switch and waste water. Uh, domestic household, industrial and agricultural practices produce wastewater that can cause pollution of many lakes and rivers. Yes. Switch is the term used for wastewater that often contains fishes, uh, urine and uh, laundry waste. There are billions of people on the earth, so treating switch is a big priority. Switch disposal is a major problem in developing countries as many people in these areas don't have access to sanitary conditions and clean water. Uh, and, and treated switch water in such areas can contaminate the environment and cause diseases such as diarrhea. Yes, what is a diarrhea? Uh, it's Mm -hmm. But not the switch in developed countries is carried away from the home quickly and the hygienic through switch pipes. Switch is treated in water treatment plants and the waste is often disposed into into the sea. Switch is mainly biodegradable and most of it is broken down in the environment. In developed countries, switch often causes problems when people flush chemical and pharmaceutical uh, substances down uh, the toilet. When people are ill, switch often carries harmful viruses and bacteria into the environment causing health problems. Yes, it's a very big problem. Causes of river pollution. Mm. Uh, acid rain, yes, industrial waste, thermal pollution from cooling towers, oil pollution, uh, farmyard waste, uh, fertilizer runoff, and uh, effluent from switch works, yes, switch works. Effects on the environment, toxic water, uh, thermal heating, our sources of water, effects on humans, uh, drinking contaminating water, yes, first of all, uh, swimming in polluted water and uh, contact with chemically polluted water, yes, uh, it's uh, very important. What is water purification? Water purification is a transition of dirty, harmful water into clean, safe water, a uh, method of both purifying water. Boiling, what is the boiling? Pichy. Yes, distilling, Distilizer. filtering, chlorination. Yes, what we can to do to protection and the rational use of uh, water? What do you think? We can, uh, run, we can uh, turn off the tap when the water is running well. Yeah, in your each uh, home, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Can water, uh, during the shower, you can turn on the water while we are washing yes. the bed or yes. Uh -huh. So we can economize 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 Yes, very good. If you want to help keep our waters clean, there are many things you can do to help. You can prevent water pollution of nearby rivers and lakes, as well as groundwater and drinking water by following some simple guidelines in your everyday life. Yes, conserve water by turning off the tap when running water is not necessary. This helps prevent water shortage and reduces the amount of uh, contaminating water that needs treatment. Uh, where does it all go? Where does the water from the washer go? When you flush the toilet, where does the contents go? Uh, uh, be careful about the water you threw down your sink or, um, or toilet, yes? Uh, don't throw paints, oils or other forms of litter down the drain, yes? Take great care not to overuse pesticides and fertilizers. This will prevent runoffs of the material into nearby water sources. Don't throw litter into rivers, lakes or oceans. Help clean up any litter you see on beaches or in rivers and lakes. Make sure it's safe to collect the litter and put it in a nearby dustbin. Yes? What is a dustbin? You must, you must see New vocabulary. Dustbin. Mussorni Yashik, yes. Join a special society devoted to the prevention of water pollution. 
Conservation of water. What is the conservation? Сохранение. Yes. Conservation of water are essential for the survival of mankind, plants and animals. This can be achieved by adopting the following methods. Uh, constructing dams and reservoirs to regulate supply of water to the fields as well as to enable generating hydroelectricity. Switch should be treated and only the clear water should be realized into the rivers. Industrial waste uh, influence should be treated to prevent chemical and thermal pollution of fresh water. Uh, judicious uh, use uh, water in your day-to-day uh, -day life. Yes, what is judicious? New, new vocabulary, yes. Rainwater harvesting should be by storing rainwater and recharging groundwater. Why trade waste water? Why? Mm, uh, to promote pollutants from wastewater for its recycling, to promote health concern and public hygiene, uh, to preserve aquatic life and wildlife habitat, to promote recreation and quality of life. Yes? Water depleted. What is a water depleted? <laughs> yes. Uh, it's caused by over-exploitation, ex ex excessive use and unequal access to water among different social groups. Uh, increasing uh, population intensive industrialization, deforestation and mis mismanagement of water resources have caused a crisis. Yes, неразумное, бесхозяйственное, неэкономное использование, да? Methods of water purification. Yes, yes, mechanical, biological and chemical. Water treatment methods, methods of separating water from unreasonable impurities and elements. Yes, очистка от всех вредных примесей. Currently, the total amount of wastewater is subjected to mechanical cleaning. 68% uh, uh, of uh, all wastewater, physical chemical 3%, uh, uh, the biological 29%. But in the future, uh, it's planned to increase the share of clean biological methods up to uh, 18% which will improve the quality of treated water. Why? Why do you think uh, uh, its planet increase biological methods? Because it's more cheap, I think. Yes, it's, it's cheap. Yeah. It's economy, yes. Biological organisms for cleaning is better than we can construct big buildings for mechanical treatment. Yes. Because they don't have the resources. And uh, now let's watch the video about treatment facilities of waste waters. Please um, uh, pay attention to the pronunciation uh, of the words of this video in English because it's very important. I need your right pronunciation and grammatically right speech, okay? When you take a shower or flush the toilet, what happens to the water? Water and waste washed down the drain of homes, businesses, and industrial facilities flows through a network of pipes called a collection system. According to the US EPA, there are about 800,000 miles of collection systems in the US, along with 500,000 miles of private laterals, which connect properties to the sewer system. Water typically travels through pipes by gravity. Once pipes get too deep, a pump or lift station moves wastewater into a new section, and water moves downhill again. Many older cities have combined sewers that convey both stormwater and sewage. A large storm can overflow the sewer and greatly increase the volume of water reaching the plant. Wastewater travels to the 16,000 publicly owned water resource recovery facilities, commonly called wastewater treatment plants, that serve over 190 million U.S. residents. The first part of the treatment process is called the headworks. Influence screens filter out large debris like rags, cans, and other trash, represented by the yellow spheres. The removal of large debris helps keep pumps and pipes within the plant from getting clogged. The trash removed from the screens is collected and disposed of at a landfill. The goal of the headworks is to remove inorganic matter from the wastewater. Inorganic matter includes items like trash, sand, or gravel, basically material that did not come from a living creature. The next stop within the headworks is the grit removal chamber. 
Grit is made up of large, heavy particles like sand or eroded cement. Water flows slowly through this tank, keeping organic matter like food, waste, bacteria, or excrement in suspension, but giving the heavier grit a chance to fall to the bottom. As grit settles out, a rake runs along the bottom of the tank, sweeping the grit away. Removing grit early on is important because it is abrasive and can erode mechanical equipment. It can also build up in later treatment processes. Though not shown here, flow monitoring occurring in the headworks helps operators prepare for volume and velocity of water entering the plant. Based on this information, operators can add the proper amount of treatment chemicals and allow adequate time in each treatment process. Flow monitoring happens throughout the rest of the plant. After the grit removal chamber, wastewater flows into primary treatment. The first step is a set of fine screens that can remove even smaller debris. Again, the debris is collected and taken to the landfill. The main goal of primary treatment is to separate water from solids, known as organic matter. This differs from the headworks, which is designed to remove inorganic waste like trash and grit. Like the headworks, primary treatment relies on physical separation methods, such as screening and sedimentation, which causes sediments to settle out by gravity. Primary clarification is the next step in the treatment process. Wastewater comes up through the center of the clarifier. Water typically sits in the clarifier for one to two hours and becomes quite still. 90 to 95 percent of settleable solids fall to the bottom over time and are removed. 50 to 65 percent of suspended solids are removed. These are very small organic particles that float in the water column. Oil and grease floats to the top and is skimmed off. Cleaner water flows over the clarifier weirs as solids settle out. A rotating arm breaks the solids from the bottom of the clarifier into a hopper in the center. The solids skimmed off the bottom of the clarifier travel to the biosolids treatment process. The water now travels on to secondary treatment. This part of the process removes nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen which helps keep rivers and lakes clean. Algae thrive in waters high in nutrients. When bacteria feed on algae, they use up all the oxygen in the water, creating dead zones that cannot support fish or other aquatic life. However, nutrients are also a valuable resource, particularly for agriculture, and can be recovered through the treatment process. The first secondary treatment stop is the aeration basin. Unlike primary treatment, this part of the treatment process relies on biological action rather than physical separation. Blowers generate oxygen that is distributed through a network of pipes into the aeration basin. Oxygen generated by the blowers is used by hungry bacteria, as shown in green. They feed on the solids, reducing their volume and removing nutrients. Next, water goes through secondary clarification, which works similarly to primary clarification. Again, solids are sent to the solids treatment process, and water moves on to be further purified. Some of the solids, known at this point as activated sludge, are sent back to the aeration basin. This activated sludge helps maintain healthy populations of beneficial bacteria that reduce solids and remove nutrients. The next step is an advanced treatment process that is often used to produce ultra clean water needed for reuse purposes. The technique shown here is a membrane filter. It works by forcing water through very small pores. Only very small molecules can make it through the filter, so the resulting water is free of even very fine particles and even many microorganisms. Once water is passed through the filters, it moves on the final step, disinfection. This step removes any remaining bacteria or other microorganisms that could cause illness. 
Chlorine disinfection is the most widely used method, but ultraviolet disinfection, shown here, and ozonation are also common techniques. The water is now virtually free of all solids, grit, and microorganisms, and can be returned to a receiving water body or used for a variety of other purposes, including, but not limited to, firefighting, cooling at industrial facilities, and irrigation. Back at the plant, the solids removed from the clarifiers travel to the solid treatment process. The goal is to turn them from solids into biosolids. The term biosolids is applied when treated sludge meets certain requirements for beneficial reuse. The treatment plant must reduce pathogens, odors, and lower concentrations of specific metals. The first step is to further remove water from solids and concentrate them. Treatment plants use a series of techniques called thickening and dewatering. The first step shown here is a centrifuge, which uses a spinning action to separate the water from the solids. The water that is removed goes back to the beginning of the treatment process, the headworks. Some bacteria, unlike those in the aeration basin, prefer places with limited oxygen or anaerobic environments. The next step in the treatment process is the anaerobic digester, which is covered to prevent air from coming in. The bacteria at work in the anaerobic digester reduce pathogens and volatile solids which contribute to odors. The bacteria also make biogas, a mixture of methane and carbon dioxide represented here by the pink balls. Methane is heated to produce steam. The steam is then used to power the turbine and energy is created due to the turbine's movements. Some plants can power their entire operations using energy produced on site, and some even sell electricity back to the grid. After the anaerobic digester, solids go through one last dewatering process, in this case a bell press. As the name suggests, water is squeezed out of the solids as they are pressed between two moving belts. The resulting sludge cake is collected in a truck and then disinfected. One method of disinfection is similar to composting, where the work of bacteria creates extremely high temperatures that destroy pathogens. Once disinfected, biosolids can be used in agriculture as fertilizer. Water and wastewater operators are one of the top 10 jobs Americans cannot live without, according to Reader's Digest. Operators control processes, make sure equipment works properly, and constantly test water and solids for compliance with regulations. The water sector faces many challenges, from urbanization to aging infrastructure. Yet a $1 billion investment in water infrastructure creates 40,000 jobs. The end result is a clean water environment for all of us today and future generations. Because water is worth it. Oh. Have you understood this video? Yes. What about this video? Uh, this video. Mm -hmm. uh, this video showed that the houses uh, is connected by the whole system, underground system, and all the wastewater goes uh, to the cleaning station where the treatment starts. The treatment, uh, the first is pre-treatment. We first mm -hmm. separate the solids from the water. It's the cans, the pockets and other solid things. Then the water goes to the uh, primary treatment. It's a mechanical treatment uh, where it's also the solids separate from the water. Mm -hmm. and then the water goes to the secondary treatment, it's a biological treatment uh, where we have to separate the nutrients, the uh, phosphorus and the living things from the water. We're using the oxygen, mm -hmm. we put the oxygen in the water and mm -hmm. the living things, they uh, separate the mm -hmm. nutrients from the water. Then the water goes to the secondary clarifying. Where you use these nutrients and reduced uh, uh, from water? Where uh, we you use? Of biogas. Oh, yes. yes. In producing of biogas. Uh, then this water goes to the membrane uh, filter. Mm -hmm. uh, that membrane filter has very little holes and uh, little, little organisms that didn't uh, go from the. Leaf organ uh, organisms, microorganisms, yeah, yes. They, that filter kills them. Mm -hmm. Then the water is finally cleaned, and then the water goes to the last etap. Mm -hmm. The last stage is uh, disinfection. 
Uh, we can use other nation pollination, but the more widely used is pollination because it's more cheap. Uh, so the water is pollinated. And then that water goes for using, for example, for agriculture, for... Um, uh, like uh, fertilize, uh, fertilizer in agriculture, uh, yes? Yeah, different yeah. activities. Also. And the twist that went from the from that water, for example, the soil things like cans, they recycle and use for another aims. And the nutrients used for producing the biogas and biogas by itself using by for producing the energy. Energy, yes. So we can use it for heat the batteries or other things. Yes, thank you. Do you remember you visited uh, treatment facilities uh, of wastewater uh, in Kite Pass in this spring? Yes. yes? Uh, pay attention. You, uh, these um, treatment facilities are similar. Yes. Uh, both of them uh, use um, uh, similar methods, biological and mechanical. mechanical. Yes. Thank you for your. Um, active participation now uh, you um, you will play a game you will play a game called the leader of 21st uh, 21st century F5. Mm -hmm. This uh, game consists uh, of three stages. First stage um, called quickness competition. You should answer uh, 12 questions. Please, uh, all of you participation, okay? Quickness competition, first uh, uh, stage. Question number one. How do you classify our natural resources? Exhaustible. Inexhaustible, yes. Exhaustible and inexhaustible. Yes. Question number two. The energy real, uh, realized by a fusion or fusion reaction is? Solar. Solar. Solar energy, yes. Question number three. What are biosphere reserves? What's... What are biosphere reserves? Uh, ah, it's conservation of protected areas. Multi. Mm -hmm. And conservation areas. Yes, question number four. Define the term natural resources. Natural resources is a resource that's useful for mankind that we use. For example, the mineral resources, the water, forest. It's all the, all the resources that people use for themselves. Yes. For their life, yes? Question number five, which one of the following is an example of non-renewable resources? Uh, wind, water, vegetation, coal and minerals. Coal and minerals. Yes, coal and minerals. Which of the following is a renewable resources? Soil, water, flora and fauna, or all above? Uh, all the above. All, yes, all. Okay, question number seven. What are abiotical components of environment? It's the non-living components, uh, things, it's and the... It's a sunlight, yes. it's wind. everything that is... Non-living, non yes? Yes. yes? Yes. Question number eight. Full cells produce chemical energy by combining these two elements. Oxygen and carbohydrate. No, no. Uh, oxygen, oxygen and, and oxygen. And hydro hydrogen. hydrogen. Yes, yes, oxygen and hydrogen. hydrogen. Question number nine. What are biotic components of environment? Biotic is the living, living components. Yes, and living things. components. Question number ten. Which one of the following is an example of inexhaustible resources? Animal, water, flora, Mineral resources. Water, water. Water, water, yes. yes water. Question number 11. Which one of the following is an example of existable resources? Wind, fauna, water, rain. Fauna. 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 Yes? 
And the question number 12, why do we need to manage our resources? Why? We want to save them for the next generations because uh, the amount of the people is more and more year after year. So we have to keep them in a present uh, sustainable uh, for the next generation. Yes, we must think about next generation, yes. Uh, and the uh, uh, second stage uh, called fill up. Each of you choose number of questions uh, and you must uh, find the missed word. Mm -hmm. One word, yes? Choose. Um, Adat, choose. Three? Birth power and the menu are provided by? Uh, this is biogas flats. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. Next. Malika. One. Of stratosphere provides protection to our life. What do you think? Ozone. Yes. Ozone layer. Ozone layer of stratosphere, yes. Uh, next. Baljan. Seven. Sanctuaries are established to what? Protect animals. Uh huh. Yes, protect animals. Next, Sara. Four. In the atmosphere, the layer above the troposphere is stratosphere. Yes, stratosphere. Mulder, eight. The death of the last individual of species is called extinction. Yes, that's right. All right. Nine. Biogas generation is mainly based in the uh, on the principle of what? Yeah, yes. Next, Gauhar. Uh, five. Five? In the major role, major role material, material for biogas. Biogas. Uh, I think it's a mood, maybe it? Mood. Yes, yes, mood. That's right. Safina? Uh, second. Second. The life-supporting gases such as O2, CO2, and N2 are chiefly concentrated in the in the, in the troposphere. In troposphere. Yes, yes, troposphere. Uh, in the troposphere. Yes, great. Yeah. Diana. Number ten. Number ten. Red uh, data book provides a list of, of um, rain and. Yes. Uh, Yes. 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 Great. Last. Last six. <laughs> Atomic energy is obtained by using ores of. Atomic. Uranium. 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 Yes. Uranium. Yes. And next. Uh, mm -hmm. Stage uh, call, uh, called uh, the adroitness competition. Each of you choose the theme and uh, number of uh, question. Yes, for example, animal number thirteen, uh, or plant number ten, mm -hmm. or inexhaustible number twenty. Yes, mm -hmm. choose. Uh, yeah. Animal number uh, ten. ten? Okay, the smallest bird in the earth is called uh, smallest bird. It's a, it's a calibri. Yes, calibri. Dian. Uh, animal number. Number thirty. Animal number thirty. How do you classify animals? Vertebrates and undervertebrates. Yes, yes, right. Safina. Uh, Plant 10. Plant number 10, yes. Why plant is green? Uh, 
um, because there is a chloroplast that consists of chlorophyll and it gives the green color for the plants. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, very good, excellent. Gohara. Uh, mineral resources 10. Mineral number 10, yes. All living things are made up of this element. Uh, it's carbon? Yes. Yes, yes it's yes. carbon, yes. Mineral resource 30. 30? Yes. The energy is in the to produce new compounds. It's also the energy received by Earth from the sun in the form of radiation. Nuclear sun. energy. Yes. Nuclear yes, energy. nuclear energy. Um, Mulder. Mineral resources. Ten. Ten? Yes. Ah. Twenty. Net, net. Twenty. A mixture of gases, hydrocarbons used as fuel is called? Natural gas. Yes, natural gas. Sara. Mineral resources. No. Yes, yes. Следующий, другой. Все уже закончил. Что, Animal 20. Animal 20. The symbol of our country is? Snow, 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 yes, yes, that, that's right. Valjan, exhaustible resources, number 10. Process by which the nuclei of radioactive atoms are split into two or more smaller nuclei is? Fission, yes. <laughs> and uh, Malika, exhaustible resource number 13. How recycling helps conserve energy? Can I answer? Recycling is the uh, recycling is the, the use uh, in the amount and. Uh, Natural sources, yes, it's uh, yes. the use. Yes, that's right. Next. Uh, Are that existable resources 20? Yes. Unrenewable energy resource formed from the remains of plants and animals that lived long ago. Non-renewable energy. Yes. Yes, that's right. Have you understood today's lecture? Yes. What about? Uh, water, water resources, resources and use of water resources, resources. Mm -hmm. the pollution of water resources. Mm -hmm. What are uh, water resources? Um, water resources is uh, resources, uh, all resources. It's uh, ocean, rivers, lakes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. and Frozen water, water yes. Yes. Uh, types of water resources. It's a river, flow, uh, it's a ground water. Surface water, underground water, frozen water, uh, and? And a river flow. And um, uh, uses for of water um, include? Agriculture. Agriculture. Household. Household. Yes. yes, and methods of water purification? What is the um, water pollution? It's a contamination of any uh, substances, that substances. substances that are not normal for the water. It's chemical, biological, physical substances. Substances? Substances uh -huh. the water. Yes. Uh, what is the water? What water is um, very important? Yeah, most important in the, in our life. Yes. What can you do uh, to uh, rational use and protection of uh, natural uh, natural resources or and uh, water resources? Okay, there are different ways. If you use like um, your own way in the house. You have to turn off the tap while you're using the water, while you're showering, 
while you're washing the dishes. Mm -hmm. uh, if we speak about the global, uh, about the global uh, saving the water, uh, the organizations of uh, all the nations have to make a new laws for protection of the water. They have to put an amount of water that we can use for months. Uh, so we have to limit the using of the water. We have to put uh, limit liters of the water. Yes, so thank you. Thank you, great. And uh, your home task will be new vocabulary. New vocabulary and uh, water resources. Okay? okay. Mm, thank you for uh, active participation of this lecture. I will put down uh, good marks all of you. Uh, and now uh, I want to make a conclusion of this lecture. Uh, today you uh, say about water, water resources, uh, types of water resources, uh, methods of cleaning uh, of water resources, biological, mechanical and chemical. And the next lecture we, um, uh, we will discuss these methods, biological, mechanical and physical, in more details. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and your uh, active participation. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you, bye. See you.